just watched Bohemian Rhapsody. I get why it was uh, uh, nominated for Best Picture, and I get why the actor who played Freddie Mercury, lead singer of Queen, won. He won the Oscar, right? If I remember correctly, he won the Oscar. Um, Omar Sack. Not like I said before, we have diarrhea, as I say, no. He, we went far away today for his yearly follow-up checkup, you know, with the specialist for his eyes. He has a scratch on his left eye, so basically a corneal ulcer, but at least a, a mild one. Not the one where I have to come in like every two days or something. And he also is developing glaucoma in his left eye. I'm not going to play the blame game with myself. I do that enough to last me a million lifetimes. But I do wonder. If, I'm, I, I've been good with putting those drops in, okay? The ones that are maintenance drops for life. But have I been perfect? No, I've not been absolutely perfect with those drops. I've been good, not perfect. And then I lost the bottle at one point and had to take some time to get an app. When I couldn't find it, and it you know, that, so that, it was like a week he didn't get his drops. But the thing is, we'll never know. There is no way to know if I'm the reason you know, because I wasn't absolutely 100% vigilant about putting that, whatever it's called, flu, flubrofen or something, flubrofen. Um, again, when he has a corneal ulcer, I'm absolutely 100%. I don't miss a, a day, I don't miss a time, I don't miss anything. But when it came to these maintenance drops, I didn't think that they were absolutely so important, and there's no saying, you know, we can be perfect in this life, and you know, I can be perfect with his drops, permitting, and he could have still, but he has glaucoma. I don't know how bad they have glaucoma, so, um... doctor, I'm like, is, is his eye going to explode or something? And, and the doctor said he didn't think it, that would happen. He's not telling me, like, how severe it is or what not. We just have him on two different sets of drugs. And see the doctor again in about a month. The other thing going on, and I have to make an appointment for him to see, you know, his usual vet. He's too fucking skinny. And we've been feeding him a lot. When I told my mom, I'm like, they say he's, he's, she's like, he eats. I'm like, I know, mom. She's like, is it cancer? I don't know. do know is I don't have money. My mother loves this dog and she has a right to love him, okay? She has a right. Because if it, I, he's 12 and a half and if all this was happening and my mom wasn't in my life, I'd have to put him to sleep. I wouldn't have a choice. Or, would, or he would just get sicker and sicker and then, I, you know what I mean? He is eating a lot, and, and he's not gaining weight, he's losing weight. He's 14.6, and that is just too low. And he definitely, even my mom knows, she's like, we feed him, I know. So that's scary. I was crying yesterday.
<clears throat> so it's going to be interesting, and by interesting, I mean not not at all fucking fun. Is my mom's going to be getting her cataract surgery, and I'm basically going to be giving Omar his drops three times a day. At the same time, that I'm going to be giving her drops four times a day. I have to be careful to joke with her that I don't give you guys the wrong drops or something. And it's in opposite eyes. So for her, him is his left eye. And for her, it's going to be her right eye. <laughs> it's not funny. Love you, Papa. We feed him, and my mom knows she's like, he eats a lot, I know. <laughs> but the only way to know is to do tests, mm. and those are expensive. But how my mom looks at it is she was going to pay six for his cataract surgery, so it wasn't even a question. She's like, I'll do anything to save him, I know. And the nutrients, obviously. Because he eats a lot and he should not be this skinny. And he's not exercising as much because I don't exercise him like the way I used to when he wasn't blind, you know? So that's what's going on. And then I, I, I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but I stubbed a toe this morning. Luckily, it was right in that it didn't hurt. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it didn't wind up doing what it did in 2009. Because I came home today, when you, I stubbed my toe, then you shove it in a sock and a sneaker and, and walk briskly, you know? It's like, it's all black and blue. It didn't hurt walking, thank God, that's all I can say. That was not the case in 2009. I actually wound up in the hospital after stubbing my toe and then taken off. Huh? Oh, and after all that hell I went through the last time, which I told you guys about, um, doing the switch thing, getting my mom a smartphone, and then switching her phone number, and then she decides in the end she doesn't, she don't, she doesn't want to practice. Well, now she's decided she wants a smartphone again, and she says there are other people gonna teach me. Yeah, you're gonna be home with me, and you drove me crazy last time because you just think you should just know it, and you don't want to practice, and it's way more. I'm sorry, but a smartphone's way more advanced, way more difficult than a little flip phone. And she has to practice. So I'm going to get her a smartphone. <laughs> it's just, just a few months ago. Just like, not that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. And for this whole hell, the biggest hell was getting her number back on to the flip phone because it had already, like, canceled it. I just went through hell. It's all, all day hell. 